got a very loud blackbird next to me. I don't think he's happy with me sitting here. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Hi again everyone and welcome back to a new video. So as you can probably tell straight away I am not to my usual wildlife photography attire. This video is very much an improvisation and this has come about quite quickly and that is because I'm just very excited to share what I have seen um, in kind of an unexpected place but in terms of the species that I have photographed it is not unexpected at all. So a couple of days ago while I was at work I visited the village that's not too far from my workplace and as I was walking down the high street there's a lot of old stone buildings and I heard a lot of commotion outside of one building in particular and I know that this time of year we see a lot more summer visitors coming in in terms of bird species so I knew that there were plenty of swifts around but I didn't realise that there was actually house martins around as well until I heard them all circling around this building making a lot of noise. So I glanced up and at the edge of the roof where it sort of overhangs the wall I noticed a lot of nests and these house martins were zipping in and out of them pretty much constantly so I was thrilled to see them so up close and I felt a bit gutted that I didn't have my camera um, but that all changed today I visited them again to see if I could get any footage and pictures of them in this urban setting from my photography a lot of you will probably already see that I don't do urban wildlife um, it's very much countryside um, and more rural places that I photograph in. But I just saw this as a, a unique opportunity to photograph wildlife in an urban setting. In terms of photographing them, my main concern was the angle. Because this building was quite tall, I wasn't sure that the angle of me looking up at them was going to look good for pictures but there was one section of the building which jutted out a little bit more than the rest of it and I was able to set up my tripod on my camera in such a way that it doesn't look like I'm look like I'm looking straight up at them and I think I'm actually quite happy with it I managed to use the lines of the guttering and the stone wall to you know put it in a decent frame and like I said, I'm quite happy with what I've got. It's not the usual kind of environment I find myself in photographing wildlife. But it just proves the point that wildlife can thrive in urban settings and there must have been over a dozen pairs of these house martins busy either building new nests or rebuilding old ones ready to lay their eggs, which will happen over the course of May through to August time. So granted, this is a short video, um, but like I said, I'm excited to see these species you know up close to see them within an urban setting is also quite exciting um, and I hope you enjoy it as well like I said it's not my usual content that I share in terms of my wildlife photography but I'm excited and hopefully um, you enjoy looking at the photos and videos as well
now that the UK is approaching the summertime, I have yet again new projects that I want to go out and film and photograph and hopefully those will happen in the next few weeks and, and hopefully you can join me for those little adventures as well. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you watch this and you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button. Um, give a like, give a comment to this video or any of the videos that you watch. And yeah, I'll see you all again next time. Goodbye.